If you remember back to when we were talking about demand and supply, we talked about willingness to pay and willingness to sell. When we looked at a clip from Catch Me If You Can where Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Garner uh, find Leonardo DiCaprio's willingness to pay <coughs> to spend a night with Jennifer Garner. And we looked at any market is just all of the possible consumers uh, willingness to pay creating this demand curve. So uh, in this video, we're gonna break down that demand curve again. Uh, we'll look at willingness to pay and willingness to sell a little more in depth uh, before we can start talking about producer and consumer surplus. <clears throat> so how much would you be willing to pay for a ride to Paris? Let's take a look at a clip here from a movie called The Bourne Identity where Jason Bourne is a wanted man who is trying to escape Brussels and make it to Paris. What are you looking at? I heard you inside. What? The consulate, I heard you talking. I thought maybe we could help each other. How's that? You need money. I need a ride out of here. I'm not running a car service just now, thank you. I'll give you $10,000 to drive me to Paris. What is this, a joke? Some kind of scam? No, it's no scam. <laughs> and I'll give you another 10 when we get there. Jesus. Is that for you? Look, you drive, I pay, it's that simple. I got enough trouble, okay? Okay. Can I have my money back? So Jason Bourne, as a wanted man, internationally, was willing to pay $10,000 for a ride out of Brussels and into Paris. Uh, maybe if you were wanted just in Brussels, you might be willing to pay $7,500. If your car broke down and your wife is having your first child in Paris, uh, you might be willing to pay up to $5,000 for a ride. If you're hunting buried treasure, maybe you'd be willing to pay $3,000. And if you'd never been to Paris before, maybe you'd be willing to spend $1,000 just to get there. Uh, we can represent all of this in a demand curve. So here we have the first individual, right? Jason Bourne is willing to spend $10,000 for a ride to Paris. Okay, so at a price of $10,000, we only have one individual. It's Jason Bourne, and he'd be willing to pay up to $10,000 for a ride to Paris. Our second individual is going to be here at 7,500. Third individual will be here at 5,000. Fourth individual is at 3,000. And then one person's willing to pay $1,000. So what we see here <coughs> at a price of $1,000, we'll have one, two, three, four, five people pay. That's why our quantity is five. On the flip side of that coin, we have the driver of the car. So how much would you need to be willing to sell a ride to Paris? What would you need to be compensated? What would you need to be paid? Maybe if you worked for Uber, you would get a fare of about $500. So we would have you here, boom, at $500. This is the first person who would be willing to accept a ride and they would give a ride for $500. Um, if you pick up hitchhikers for fun, maybe you'd do it for $1,000. Uh, if you're in need of cash, maybe you would do it for three grand. If you're also wanted, it might cost a little more. Maybe you would need at least $7,000 to give Jason Bourne a ride to Paris. And if you don't own a car, maybe you could give him a ride for $10,000, right? You take $10,000 and buy a car and drive both you and Jason to Paris. Okay. So that's willingness to pay and willingness to sell. And the idea of those two things in the next video, we'll talk about consumer surplus, and then we'll talk about producer surplus and total surplus.